And now, even a better chance for Toro. The announcement that Javier Martinez's contract has been terminated came hours after a goalless game between Vipers and Toro United FC in Kitende. Scored against Spider for his only goal. Immediately after the game, frustrated Vipers fans protested, blocking traffic and demanding to voice their dissatisfaction with the team's performance. Coach, but little did they know that Viper's management had their sleeves because few hours after, the announcement that Espinoza had been shown in the door was posted on their social media pages. After the game, Espinoza was a no-show at the regular press conference and was represented by the team captain Geoffrey Waswa. According to the club spokesperson Abdul Waske, the plan to terminate the coach's services were already in motion. Say it's not something that has uh, just come up from the team. It's something that has been in the pipeline uh, because of the way the team was uh, was being run under the under the, uh, the coach that is leaving. So the team said, the management said that we need to make some changes. And you'll be seeing changes effective tomorrow, that's Monday, uh, before we unveil either the new head coach or a caretaker who will let the media know uh, by Tuesday or tomorrow or Monday. Waske said Espinoza has been compensated and is expected to return the club's property. Espinoza was contracted as a tactician after Portuguese Miguel de Costa, who took the team to the National League Championship last year, was sacked in July. Waske said the announcement for a new coach will come soon. He also refuted reports that the club is eyeing KCCFC's coach Mike Mutebi. Kaman Ivan Walnyoro for NTV Weekend Sport.